Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on Route, uh, what was it? No, I didn't mean to go back, I meant to go back to Pokenav. Jeez, I, I have short term memory loss, apparently. Uh, it's Route 111. Okay, we went through Route 111 in the Fiery Path, and this is Route 112 we're on right now. We battle a lot of trainers, we battled Gabby and Ty for the first time, we'll be battling them at least two more times throughout the main story, but then again, you can battle them as many times as you want, as long as you go to the right locations, even before you beat the Pokemon League. Elite Four, you know. So we also caught a Torkoal, nicknamed it Smokey. Now I I did a lot of things off screen. I um put my PP up um in the in my PC to stash away for later, and then I also uh I kind of trained up Metroid a little bit, as you can see right here. Uh, it was like the be the being it was like now it's halfway to level twenty six now, and it was just like one, I'd say like one tenth, uh the way through um route. Um, to one, to level 26, if that makes any sense. It was basically one tenth experience, uh, to 20, to level 25, 26. Now it's halfway to level 26. So I guess that's the way I went, I went through the fire path twice, um, going down to get the Toyko from the PC and Marvel City and the Pokemon Center and then I, on the way back too. So that's why Toyko, uh, that's why, um, Metroid has a little bit more experience. So let's still get the symmetry, 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 no, Summary for uh, Smokey. So yeah, ability white smoke prevents ability reduction, which means like sass, lowering moves. So that's good. Um, trainer memo, it's a naive nature. Uh, why did I say trainer memo? I guess that's what it says there. Met at the fiber path level 15, cool. Its attack is 35, its defense is 51, its special attack is 33, its special defense is 24, and its speed is 13. Wow, this is a little Pokemon, but that's okay. Okay, it knows Ember, Smog, Curse, and Smoke Screen. So yeah. And also, I forgot to explain this like earlier, but this right here tells you like what appeal uh, the moves have in contests. Like beauty is for Ember, tough is smoke, smog, and uh, tough is curse, and then smart is smoke screen. Yeah. So I have a smoky for it now. So let's pick these berries right here. Oh, here's a raspberry. Two of them to be exact, actually. So let's, let's heal Baron, so that's actually nice. These are Petra Berries, uh, I think we've seen them before, they heal poison, that's really cool. Here's two more Petra Berries, cool, and there'll be two more Ross Berries to pick too. There we go, nice. Is there a hidden item in that rock over there? I'm not sure. Guess not, no, okay. Here is a cool trainer, he's actually pretty tough to so be if you make sure you, um, Aware of that. Show me how much uh, you've toughened at your Pokemon. Okay, I'll show you. I caught a new Pokemon just recently. Yes, two Pokemon. Okay, look, try cool. Smoke screen, Ember, small curves. Okay, yeah. Let's see what an Ember does. Just like curiosity, it's gonna use how it always its attack. Okay, that's cool. I guess not for us though. Here's Quick Attack, okay. It doesn't do that much good. Don't have Spark or anything. <laughs> Would you? Electric, okay. Wait, I'm aware, okay. I see how she did there. Okay, I'll switch out to um, Geico, I guess. Water Gun Hot. Yeah, that only one can switch out. Let's go for the Bullet Seed. There we go, critical to awesome. Nice. Okay, one more second. I'll try. Okay, I'll switch back to uh, fighter, uh, not fighter, but smoky. Let's go for the ember again. Let's just quick attack on us, okay? That's fine by me. Nice, okay. Ooh, yeah, almost level 16. Nice. Makuhita. Okay, let's see if we can paint this Makuhita too. Vital throw. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I didn't. It only did 10 HP. Wow. Okay. I 
Okay, so probably use a vital throw if the smoky went first. Yeah, I knew it. Did 10 HP again. Cool. Cute go awesome. I'll take it. It's my good level 16. Awesome. What do you think, Coach Trainer Wilton? Nice. I see. You've toughened them considerably. Thanks. Thanks for 864 Poké Dollars, too. We're getting close to, so, so close to the TM for secret power. In fact, we are there, basically. Okay, what's what's that? What am I doing? I th I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know, I'll give you this TM. We use it if you may use it. We'll use it to make your own room? Sure, why not? TM 43, which is secret power. Nice. Still, okay, we put it away in the TM ancient pocket. Cool. Find a big tree that looks like it might drop some vines. Use secret power in front of the tree. Some vines should get uh, free and drop down so you can climb in the tree. You'll find a lot of space for putting your favorite things, like dolls and desks and stuff. It'll be your own secret room. A secret base. You should make one too. Uh, another thing, you don't always have to make your secret base in a tree. Try using super on rock walls that have small incidents in them. I'm going to, to look for other places too. Okay, bye. So for example, you can use strength right here, or secret power right here. Um, but I, I don't, I, well, I can teach secret power to... I'll teach it to one of my, uh, I'll teach it to one, I guess, just to always have it, uh, just to teach secret power to one. I think it'll work. Yeah, okay. One learn secret power, okay, cool. W one learn secret power. <laughs> That's like a, that kind of sounds fun, funny. <laughs> okay, let's see here. And, okay, there's actually a place you can heal. I'm gonna use cut right here to do a little shortcut. And here's a house. Old lady's rest stop. Come in and rest your tired bones. Okay. If you talk to her, she will rest your Pokemon. Oh dear, aren't your Pokemon exhausted? If you like, rest up here. That's fine. You should do that. That's right. Take your time and rest up. I like the chime for the Pokemon sending music. Uh, the Pokemon sending healing music. Oh dear, dear. Are your Pokemon still tired? You should take another rest. That's fine. idea. you should do that. No, because that, would, that wouldn't be any point to do that. Is that so? You don't have to be shy about it. I'm not being shy about it. Her dialogue always made me... Like, uh, say like, but I'm not, I don't need to heal my Pokemon again. Why do you want me to rest again? Oh, here's the TV, by the way. In search of trainers. Gabby says, hi. Today I'm visiting an area near Route 111. Uh, we tried, we're, we're trying to spot some up and coming new talent on, in the field. Today we turned our lenses on trainer Steven. There's something about this trainer that piqued our interest. I think that's piqued or puked or something our interest the best way to determine how strong a trainer is while well, the fastest way while well, the fastest way is to battle and so we began our investigation that's how we ended about ended up in about in battle with Steven in a dominating uh, performance we were fired flattened rolled up and tossed aside Steven is ruthlessly strong we asked the trainer for a succinct um, sum summation of the battle we shared. The combination of Tentacool and Hariyama was divine. The, the slight of them of them Tentacool and Hariyama selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle. Uh, it was a uh, marvelous sight to behold. Arm Thrust was the move the trainer used last in our battle. The move Arm Thrust is Tentacool and Hariyama's Har sign of f friendship. After our battle, we asked Steven for his succinct I'm probably pronouncing that word right. Uh, wrong, I should say. Wrong. Um, uh, summary. Yeah, there we go. This, the trainer was quite tight. Steven set uh, Pokemon Tentacle and Hariyama and tight. Hmm, that's deep. That's deep. There's deep significance behind the, the, that quote. It's no surprise a good trainer has good things to say. That's it. That's all for today. See you again in our next broadcast. So yeah, they did make it all the way on TV. Awesome. That's pretty cool. I'm famous now. I'm famous. Okay, yeah. Let's okay. Yeah, just checking if um, Wynoon or um, Zigzagoon had any items that they picked up. Now I think you can only go up here up this slope if you have a if you have um a mock bike, which kind of stinks because I have an acro bike. So maybe picking mock bike first would have been the best choice because there's like a fighting type trainer you can actually fight over there, um, on the mountain right there. So let's go for the bicycle actually. Let's, I watered my plants lots and lots. A whole bunch of flowers bloomed, and a whole bunch of berries appeared. Here you go. You can have this. We got the raspberry. Nice. Cool. 
Yeah, I'm going to try really hard to make some red Pokebox. I hope you try hard too. I'll try hard with um, not making Pokebots, but being the Pokemon League champ, hopefully. <laughs> Three raspberries, cool. Nice, and there's like a lot of orange berries too. I know those berries to the left are the orange berries because I recognize their sprite. So, what do raspberries do exactly? Raspberries. Uh, it's a Pokeball ingredient, cool. Okay, two orange berries, so this is like four orange berries right here, that's awesome. Nice. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's battle this person. Oh, you, you, your Pokemon looks like serious actors. I have to ask you for an engagement. You wanna get married? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So this is cool, Chainer Brooke. Okay, she has two Pokemon. One's a Wingle. Okay. Switch out to, uh, switch out to, I guess, Fighter. Don't have wing attack, don't have wing attack, don't have wing attack. Okay, good use water gun, nice. But I don't know if you still have wing attack or not. Let's go for the rock tube. I could have gone for the fake out, you know. That could have been a smart option, actually. Especially that rock tube missed. Oh my gosh, now fighter is confused. Jeez. Rock tube hits that time, nice. Awesome, there we go. Yeah, one gets a little bit of experience. Nemo. Okay, I'll switch to Smokey again. Okay, yeah. Switch to Metroid now. That bird's not going to be very effective. That's awesome. Let's go for the Bubble Beam. Nice. Sent out Rosalia. Okay. This is something Smokey can handle. We have the type advantage now. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Let's go for the Ember. Let's get his growth. Okay. The thing is, like I said before, Rosalia is actually giving a lot of experience in this game. So, yeah. So use some growth, okay. We want to knock out this Rosalia soon, but it might take another turn. Yes, it will take another turn, of course, okay. So use one more Emperor. Oh no, you're gonna use a Super Potion, dang it. You just can't accept that you're gonna lose this fight, <laughs> you know? But that's okay, it's whatever. As long as you keep on using growth, I'm fine. Critical hit? No, okay, fine. Poison Sting, okay. There we go, nice. There we go, Smokey gained a lot of experience. Awesome, Smokey's in the level 17. Trying to learn Fire Spin. I guess for right now we can learn it, he can learn it. Let's get rid of um, Smoke Screen though. We don't need Smoke Screen. One, two, and poof. Smoke forgot Smoke Screen and Smokey learned Fire Spin. Cool. That didn't just look strong, they looked they didn't look just strong. Uh, th they are strong. That's cool. Thanks. Thanks for 864 Poké Dollars. So here we are in 113. It's an ashy route, so like you can look at ashes, but you have to get a certain bag from some from someone in a cabin to get to get collect ashes. You know, so we can't quite do that yet. That's okay. Super potion. Okay, cool. It's actually a Pokemon I want to try to catch here, but like I want to also want to try to progress to this route too at the same time. Here's a youngster. Let's take him on. Can you guess what's why it's so cold here? Cause it's a volcanic volcano area. I don't know. That's my guess, but I could be wrong. A youngster Neil would like to battle a trap bench. Okay, cool. What does the ember do? Does a fair amount. Cool. Let's see how much this faint attack does. Doesn't do too much. That's good. Let's just another ember then. Bite, okay. Now, critical hit, geez. Let's use fire spin. 
Hopefully it'll finish it off. Could have quit, I'll take it. Light noon, okay. We'll switch, uh, we'll stay in but switch out actually. So ending's level 20. Let's go with the, let's go with the fighter I guess. Headbutt, okay. Let's go for the fake out first. There we go, nice. And let's go for the arm thrust. Go sand attack, of course. Like arm thrust still hits, that's awesome. Nice. Awesome, we defeated youngster and you'll PU, that stinks. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for 320 Poké Dollars. Okay, yeah, uh, dang it. Okay, Smokey Grill level 18, that was a century that we just defeated. It's pretty cool. I think the two had, or one had an item that they picked up, yeah. Take Cookie okay, Forest Store, nice. Here's a Ninja Boy. From out. Of the ashes, I leave. Paya, I challenge thee. Okay. Here's a ninja boy. Ninja boy Leo. A lad or Lyle. Lyle, I guess. Let's see, let's someone, how much will an ember do? Self destruct, okay. Maybe, uh, I guess Smokey has a lot of defense, but still. Okay, it still survived it. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, let's uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a super potion on, uh, Smokey. Okay, cool. Poison gas, no. Not on Smokey. Okay, let's go for the ember again. Let's go for a ember, I should say. Yeah, there we go. Hits, awesome. Hurt by poison, jeez. Poison gas. Smoke gas already poison though. Yeah. There we go, nice. Smoke is hurt by the poison, of course he is. Poison gas. Smoke is already poisoned, yeah. Nice job, bro. <laughs> now please don't use self-destruct. Please don't use self-destruct. There you go, nice. Yeah, it's a good level 19, awesome. And another coughing, wow. Okay. Do I want to use a forest door? I think it's worth it, honestly. Okay, there we go, nice. We still have 13 more embers. After this ember, we have 12. Haha. <laughs> smog, I hate smog. It has like the longest battle animation and it can also have a chance of poisoning your Pokemon unless they're half a poison type or fully a poison type. You know what I'm saying? It's very annoying. But that's okay. We'll get through it. There we go, nice. Ninja Boy Leo, or whatever you pronounce his name, with honor item at defeat. Thanks, man. Thanks for the 228 Poké Dollars. You're way really nice. This is a hidden item, but it's not really hidden because it kind of looks like, um, kind of just looks like you press A against it or something, you know? <laughs> okay, there's an ether right there. Here is a super repel. Nice. So, yeah, let's hop over this ledge and go back around. Okay, let's see here. Wait, let's read that sign. Oh, man. That was a Spinda. Okay, yeah. Uh, trainer tips. Uh, you may register one of the key items in your bag as select. Simply press select to use the register item conveniently. That's, I already know that. But thanks for the tip. It's good for newcomers, I guess. Oh, this, this girl has a number, right? Yeah. I use this parasol to, wa to ward off this filthy, yucky, volcanic ash for, from my dear number. Number, yeah. Cool. Okay, press the lady, okay, sent up. No more, okay, cool. I'm gonna switch to, uh, 
Metroid. Let's go for the bubble beam. Nice, okay. There goes the ammo. Nice. Half, half, I am exhausted. Thanks for the 800 um, pocket eyes. I'm sorry that you feel exhausted though. What do I have in my second slot again? I have Geico, okay. Let's take on these twins. Tia says, both of us, we caught dashes. We battle Pokemon too. That's awesome. Good to know, good to know. Uh, twins Toy and Tia went to battle. Okay, yeah. Wishmer and Wismer, okay. So let's go with um, Ember on one of them and uh, Pursuit on one of them. There we go, nice. One of them fainted already, cool. Smoke could be level 20, awesome. It's because trying to win Body Slam, awesome. It's a really good move, it's actually one of its final moves in its moveset that I wanted to teach. Let's give it a curse. Smoky Fat Curse and Smoky Wind Body Slam, awesome. Astonish, okay. Interesting. Let's go for the Body Slam on the Wismer and the Quick Attack on Wismer. There we go, awesome. That's pretty good. We defeated Twins Tia and, uh, and, um, I forget the other one's name and I skipped through their dialogue. Dang it, I forget the other one's name. Tia and, uh, someone else. Oh, dang, another T name. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get this item over here. I also want to try to catch a Pokemon in here if I didn't already mention that. And this is the Pokemon I'm talking about, yeah. This is Skarmory, awesome. It's female Skarmory, it's level 16, awesome. Let's use, uh, let's use Fire Spin on this thing. Use Swift, okay, yeah. Yeah, nice. Fire Spin again, I guess. It's gonna use Jody, raise up its speed, sharply. I'm gonna say by two, by two stages. Okay, I'm gonna switch out to, uh, I guess, um, Fighter. Unless it has a fight, unless it knows Peck, I think that's not the best move then. But yeah, it's agility, okay. Let's go back to, let's go to Geico actually. Okay, it does no pack. Okay, of course. Let's go for a quick attack. There's a Jody again, of course. She's in a quick attack. I want to put it at least in the reds. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Let's try using a Pokeball on this thing. I want to try to catch in a Pokeball. Because I have 12 Pokeballs anyway. I have a lot of them. Nice. Dang it, it didn't even shake once. Okay, I might as well switch out. Dang it, let's switch to um, Metroid. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's go for the... I guess we can use an Ultra Ball because we have nine of them, but I wanted to try to catch the thing in a Pokeball. One, two, ah, oh, shoot. Okay. This isn't going well. well. I always did shook once, but still. One, two, three, and it caught it. Awesome. Nice. Got your Skarmy was caught. Nice. Skarmory's data was added to the Pokedex. Cool. Skarmory is number 150, 115 in the po in the whole index. Its name is Skarmory. It's the Umber Bird Pokemon. Its height is 5 foot 7. So it's half an inch taller than me. Wow. Okay. It, uh, I know Skarmory is tall, but yeah. 
I thought it was gonna be a little bit taller than that, but yeah, it's still a big bird. Honestly, it's a tall bird for like the bird species. It weighs 111.3 pounds. It's um, it's uh, the footprint kind of looks like the kind of the symbol for the Armada from Innovator Zim. If I am thinking correctly, I put it, I put like a PNG or JPEG image of uh the Invader Zim logo of the Armada, whatever the tallest, uh, whatever they're called. Um, the evil, you know, alien corporation or group, I guess. But yeah, uh, Skarmory is entirely uh, encased in hard, protective armor. This Pokemon flies at close to 190 miles per hour. It slashes its foes with its wings that possess sword-like cutting edges. Wow. Okay, give me a name to Skarmory. Yes, I want to give it a name to Skarmory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a name it Screamo because. All this thing does when it's mad or when it like comes out of its Pokeball, it just screams. Like I, it's like it's like more, it's louder than a Pokemon cry. It's like a scream, like a screech. So screamo, did I spell that right? S C R E S C R E A M O A M O. Okay, screamo, I like it. Uh, screamo is sent to the PC. Okay, cool. Let's grab this Pokeball, or item I should say, it's not really a Pokeball, it's a Max Ether. Okay, we'll put that on the PC, along with the Ether we got earlier in this part. So, who is... Okay, yeah. Cool. Let's have to go through this tall grass again, or could run into Pokemon like that. Okay, that was a Sand Shrew. Nice. So, here is a guy who will give us the bag for uh, the suit sack, I believe, for collecting ash. So yeah, this area is covered in volcanic ash. Huff Puff, it's a specially gifted Huff Puff. I make a glass out of volcanic ash and make items. Huff Puff, uh, you collect, go collect ashes with this Huff Puff. We get the suit sack, nice. Awesome. Yeah, if you, I'm skipping through the dog, sorry. Once you think you collected a good amount of Huff Puff, come see me, Huff Puff. Okay. I think I'm gonna click um, these uh, this off screen, but also I want to avoid. How many more trainers do I have? I think I have like two more. Yeah, let's battle this ninja dude. Let's see if we can finish all the trainers first. Thanks for finding me, but we stopped the battle. Okay, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Mikado, okay. We finally have a fire type on our team, so we can deal with these easily with Ember. Nice. Yeah, okay, yeah. They only did one HP. Good for us. Good for us. I right, go one hit KO. Awesome critical hit. I'll take it. Ninjask. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's another. He has. She's another Ember. Yeah, wait. It's my friend's uh, sauce. That's good. Okay, yeah. It's speed boost though, jeez, okay. So let's use a fire spin to finish it off, hopefully. It gets fury swipes on us. But it's only doing 2 HP per hit, so that's good. Of course it hits 5 times. Whatever. I oh, missed with this fire spin, dang it. Now it's gonna get faster, shoot. We gotta knock this thing out. Let's go with the body swim then. Yeah, Syntec Prince Sweat. Stat loss, that's good. Nice. Go smoke is in level 21, awesome. I think your name was Lang or Long or something like that. I use, I'll use my ninjutsu on you. Volcanic, ash, smoke, swirl cloak. What, it's already over? <laughs> Sorry man, thanks for the 228 Poké Dollars though. Okay. Is that okay? Team 32, which I think is double team. Let me just double check that. Let me see here. Um, teams and HMs. Team 32, double team. Yes, I was right. Cool. Here's one last trainer. I think this is the last trainer of the route. Last trainer of the video. I know that for sure. <laughs> the volcanic eruption is proof that the Earth is alive. That's true. Okay, youngster Dolan, yeah, cool. He has an Aeron, cool. She has a Ember on it, it should be neutral effective. Yeah, could dip at half. She's Mudslap though. 
Yeah. And that lower um, smoke's accuracy because again, white smoke ability. Nice. But if you're a youngster, Dylan, awesome. You're some kind of strong. You're so. Oh, wait, I misread that. Sorry, something about. You're something, something strong. Thanks for the 120 Poké Dollars, though. Okay, so now we have made it into Forber Town right now. There we go. You saw the sign. You saw the little label. Um, so actually, first off, right here, you can get a nugget if you click right here. You found one nugget. Awesome. Or I found one nugget. Or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, so it's been that in my Pokémon redo. So this one then my Pokemon would be redo walk through the part. Next part will take on what's wise uh, west of Forever Town, but off screen I'm going to collect a lot of volcanic ash. And off screen I'm also gonna get um Screamo, my Scarmo out of the PC. Uh does does one have any held items? Yes it does. Okay, and Larry too, cool. So yeah. So, uh, so I'm gonna get the blue fruit which heals sleep, the red fruit which heals infatuation for like attract, and then uh I think one more of the fruit if I have time, but if I want to get another food, I think I want to just get the blue food and the red food because I heal a, a fatuation, red food heals the fatuation, and blue food heals um, sleep, so that's cool. No give, I don't want to give. I want to take, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you goodbye, and I'll just see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walk the Guide.